More and more people travelled on the factory shoulders railway. More and more ships came to the harbours. Everyone had to work very hard indeed. No one can say, grumbled Henry, that we're afraid of hard work, but we draw the line at goods trains, finished Gordon. Dirty trucks, dirty sidings, ugh, put in James. What are you boiler aching about? asked Duff. I remember on the Great Western, that tin pot railway. Tin pot indeed. Let me tell you. Silence, ordered a well-known voice. Let me tell you. The engine for goods work will arrive from Scotland tomorrow. The news was received with acclamation. The fat controller stared. Did you say two engines, Inspector? Yes, sir. Then send the other back at once. Certainly, sir. But which? The fat controller stared again. Engines have numbers, Inspector? He explained patiently. We bought number 57646. Send the other one back. Quite so, sir. But there is a difficulty. What do you mean? The two engines are exactly like, sir, and have no numbers. They say they lost them on the way. We'll soon settle that nonsense, he said grimly. The two engines greeted him cheerfully. I hear you've lost your numbers, he said. How did that happen? The mourner slowly slip it off, sir. You can who it is. The engines spoke in chorus. I know. Accidentally on purpose. The twins looked pained. Sir, you would live in thinking you lost them on purpose. I'm not so sure, said the fat controller. Now then, which of you is 57646? Oh, that, sir, uh, is just what we can of mind. The fat controller looked at their solemn faces. He turned away. He seemed to have difficulty with his own. He swung round again. What are your names? Donald and Dougie, sir. Good, he said. Then your controller can tell me which of you is which. Well, he, you'll get no muckle help for him, sir. Why? He didn't ken our names, sir. How could he? We only given ourselves names when we lost our numbers. One of you, said the fat controller, is playing crud. I shall find him out and send him home. Inspector, he ordered, give these engines numbers and set them to work. He walked sternly away. <laughs>